Uh, I'm so outgoing on stage. I'm so fucking introverted in the real world. Uh, here we go. And just to toot my own horn, toot toot. Uh, this one and the first one I just got published in the Worcester Review, and I'm really happy. About it. city like Savannah or New Orleans where you can drink on the street, you can smoke where you want, but they only take cash. And even the cops are drunk. Lucky you. Lucky you, you tell the truth. Because in this town, every time you tell a lie, a barefoot redneck <coughs> child nails a kitten to a telephone pole. Don't ask why, just pony up the cash and thank the bloodline, he's my little cousin Jimmy. His daddy was a carny and his mama was a Ferris wheel repair technician. They fucked on a dare. <laughs> Still do on occasion. Make mistakes. Two years ago on this very same night, you and I sat on a concrete surrounding Colonial Lake. We tossed the cross of our PB&J sandwiches into the liquid sky. While we ate, the moon rippled like a flag in the wind on the surface of the night, and fish swallowed those bouncing stars. And if you're hungry tonight, I know a pizza shop about four blocks from here where they sell pie by the slice and life by the drop. I used to work there. We could pretend we owned the place, drink free water, and sit in the window seat, watch people pump like good drugs through the veins of these streets and even though it's my heart I wouldn't walk the park alone at night the bus stop is no place to call home after dark but if you're not done yet we could get hopped up on truck stop by Andrew go post up on a rooftop and narrate the night air that whips in and out of these alleys say when was the last time you walked into the wall flower shop down on Poplar Avenue. That place is packed full of awkward blossoms, each passively begging for acceptance, each looking down at his flimsy stem and feeling too small to carry the weight of such a heavy stamen. That place, it makes me want to break shit. It makes me want to take a brick and make a splash in a florist store front window, pick up a shard, a shattered glass, and carve the inscription, forgiveness <laughs> is free, on the side of the cash register so the owner of the wallflower shop can know that just because it sells doesn't mean it should. Being good is no substitute for being amazing, and people of this city would rather be wrong than timid, and I appreciate that moxie, that swagger, that joyful noise, that riotous voice that says, don't box me up, I'm not an antique figurine, and I'm not your grandmother's love letters. I'm a sucker punch. I'm a firecracker in the hallway of a middle school. I'm a long shot. I'm a fistful of brass knuckles in a back pocket begging to bruise bone. I'm a last chance. I'm a sloppy blowjob in a bathroom. Room, backstage before the show I'm a damn good time I'm a grown ass man that won't act his age I'm a warning sign I'm a loan shark named Karma and I'm gonna get paid I'm a promise built on false premises and you can bet your bottom dollar this heart is gonna break <laughs> <laughs>